Is it possible for your penis to actually become bigger, longer, thicker? 100% yes! Scientifically proven! In this review, I will talk about 7 clinically proven ways based on real medical research on exactly how to make the penis bigger with pros and cons and show you the actual number of inches increased for each method. Welcome to the Cure.Expert channel! Knowledge is provided by Dr. John Wu, MD, licensed U.S. physician. Cure.Expert is a California Medical Board registered telehealth clinic. I'm Cure Expert Science Analyst and your host, Eileen. All content is for educational purpose only, not to be used as medical advice. And if you like our video, be sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Okay, we're going to use a scorecard to keep score. Be sure to watch to the end because some results might really surprise you. Method 1. Vacuum Pumps Vacuum pumps use suction to force blood into your penis. So some of you might have seen ads for these. According to them, just a few minutes and your penis becomes much bigger. But wait, is that really true? Good thing researchers actually did a study on this. According to this 2006 study with 37 men, they tried the vacuum pump for 20 minutes three times a week for six months. The result? Only 30% were satisfied and the mean increase was only 0.1 inches. So it does work, just not very well at all. But its pro is that it's non-invasive. The next four methods are surgical. Two kinds of penile surgery exist. The first kind is to make the penis look longer. The second is to actually make it longer. Method two, you must be thinking, it looks like the non-invasive method doesn't work so well. What about surgery? For making the penis look longer, the easiest way is lipoplasty, where you cut out the extra skin and fat under the pubic hair area. So, for someone who is obese, lipoplasty will certainly make the penis look bigger. The downside is that it's still surgery, so there are risks like infections. I have not found numbers on exactly how much bigger, so we'll put a question mark here. Method 3. Some of you might say, well, I'm not really that obese, so the last method isn't for me. Aren't there any other surgical ways to make the penis look longer? Yes, the ligament release method. This method is where you cut the ligament holding the base of the penis in place so that when the penis is not erect, it droops down more. And when it's erect, it can move up more, giving the illusion of a longer penis. So how much longer can your penis get with a ligament release? According to this 2019 study, after six months, the penis at rest increased on average 1.06 inches, and the erect penis increased 0.51 inches. And in this 2022 study, where they also used a spacer, the penis at rest increased on average 0.98 inches, and the stretched penis increased 0.75 inches. So, if you want the illusion of looking bigger, the ligament release method will do it, especially when the penis is not erect. And it is a relatively easier surgery. The problem with this method is that the penis is not stable, which might make it hard to use during sex. Method 4. What about for people who don't just want the illusion of making the penis look bigger, but actually want to really make the penis bigger? Well, one common method is the penile disassembly. With this, you basically take apart the penis put a section of your rib cartilage into the front part of the penis, then assemble it together again. An analysis in 2000 
showed an average increase of 0.79 to 1.57 inches. So it does work, but this is major surgery with very high risk involved. You might end up with a severe infection or loss of penile sensations or even bad scarring. Method 5. So all previous methods won't work for you. Are there any options left? Well, there is something called total phalloplasty. Here, you pretty much build up a new penis using an artificial penis implant. This is the most intensive surgical method with the highest risks. Beware though, you can even get a complete loss of your original penis. Most transgender operations use this method so I assume it works, but I cannot find a big study with results for it though. Method 6. Some of you might be thinking, if you make the penis longer, but it's still the same thickness, won't it look too skinny and weird? The solution is the penis filler injection. So to make it thicker, many types of fillers can be used to inject into the fascial layer. Fillers include hyaluronic acid, your own fat, PLA, and PMMA. According to this 2011 study, after injection of hyaluronic acid, the penile circumference increased on average 1.49 inches. So fillers definitely can make your penis thicker. And of all the fillers, Hyaluronic acid has one of the highest satisfaction rates with least reported complications. Method 7. So by this point, a lot of you might be saying, surgery is just too crazy. Aren't there any non-invasive methods that actually work well? There is. It's called the traction device. A traction device uses two rings to stretch the penis. One ring clamps around the base of the penis and the other clamps around just below the penis head and then the device pulls the rings apart. According to this 2018 study, a traction device was used for 3 to 8 hours a day for 12 weeks. They found that the mean increase in stretched penis length is 0.7 inches with only mild side effects. So, traction devices work very nicely. It competes very well with surgical methods. But you don't have the risks of surgery because it's non-invasive. However, you have to spend hours every day using it. Conclusion, so let's look at the scorecard. If you take the risk-benefit perspective, the clear winner for making the penis longer is the traction device. And for making the penis thicker, the winner is the penis injection with hyaluronic acid. Thanks for watching! If you are interested in generic Viagra or generic Cialis from Cura.expert, please see the description under the video. If you like our videos, please subscribe, like, and share. And if you have health topics that you want to see, please let me know in the comments. See you next time!